Well, you know, you do get that a lot. People come up to you and offer suggestions on how you can improve your business. I just, uh, I just, I throw my shoes at them. And, <laughs> say, I don't hey. tell you how to run your business. Don't tell me. How to run my... Here are my shoes. Here's Mr. Hirschberg's number. He does all our bookkeeping. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can take over anytime yeah. you want. You know, um, it's um, your, your. You know, I don't consider ourselves artists. I consider ourselves, we're craftsmen. Mm -hmm. You know, just like somebody builds a house. That's what we do. But mm -hmm. people can offer suggestions all the time. You know, and it's it's just like, you know, you can take it for what it's worth and use it or don't use it or pretend that you didn't hear what they said. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It's but it's a, if, if they only knew how... The, the how difficult it is at what we do, mm -hmm. and Michael here, uh, you all you all know he does bookkeeping for about twenty restaurants. Twenty restaurants. So uh, the there are a lot of easier things to do to make money. Most things are easier than restaurants. Most <laughs> things are easier to make. You really have to be. You should be committed mm -hmm. uh -huh. somehow. Yeah. But uh, you know, if if you know this, you know uh, it's standard. Uh, practice. If if you're doing well, you're making a dime on the dollar. Mm -hmm. That's really good. You're That's really good. If you're making yeah. ten yeah. cents on a dollar, yeah. you're doing really well. Yeah. And, and for eighty hours a week, yeah. And all that that stress and and being put in the public eye. You know, the reviews. Mm -hmm. We hate them. We love them. You know, I. Imagine other jobs like that. Every you know? time I open the paper, every Sunday, you know, oh, gee, I don't want to see, see my name in there. You know? <laughs> but then you go, oh, where's my name? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I saw my name, mm -hmm. but I'm glad it's not there. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, what other business do you get uh, yeah, reviewed you know, like exactly. that? Insurance well, because part reviewed. of it is that you create a community within your walls. I mean, this is a community. All these people that live in this neighborhood, mm -hmm. and you had to come into an old restaurant that had been here for how many years? Over the shells. A hundred years. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, Crazy. Right. You know, and so you ha there was a clientele that their sons and their daughters came here, and their you know their grandmothers came, and and that's what I'm going through right now. Is there this was an established place where people right. had this idea of what it is. And to them, they wanted to go there and get that because that's what they expected. Eighty years ago, on my seventh birthday, I came in and I had this minestrone. <laughs> Here at Michelle's? I don't see it on your menu. Yeah. What happened to minestrone? <laughs> what are you, dumb? Yeah. That was the best minestrone yeah. ever. Yeah. And of course, just... having taken over the restaurant, I know they were number ten cans. Yeah. All right. Minestrone oh, downstairs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People not in this business, they will never know. Yeah. They will never, never know how know hard what, right. we work or how difficult things we went through every day. Yeah. I think every each business have their own uh, difficulties. Sure they do. I mean, the, the restaurants, we're dealing with people, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of people just one day, every mm -hmm. day. All the time. I mean, you know, And you're only just scheduled your last meal. And they don't care day. that the hot water heater just broke. Oh. Right. And that's going to be eight thousand dollars. <laughs> so there goes your profit for the whole yeah. month. Yeah, yeah. They have no idea. Johnny just... doesn't eat <laughs> broccoli. Send it back. Yeah. But, you know, but I mean... it's I I could not imagine doing anything else. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I know. Well, I tried for seven years that's to people... get out of it. Yeah, yeah, I think... It pulled me right back. I in. always say the restaurant business is like malaria. You know, no, once it's... you've been stung, you're going to have a. You know, a, a relapse. So you were coming back, Mike? No, I, 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 I have people ask me all the time, oh, when are you going to open a new restaurant? And I say, when Joe Montana suits up and gets back on the field, that's when I'm going to go back in the restaurant business. I'm too old for that stuff right now. They, you know, those linebackers, they hit really, really hard. And, and it's the same thing for customers, restaurant business. There's so many great restaurants out there right now. I would, you know, I would... Uh, and, and I, I, you know, I, I, what you were talking about, talking to 20-year-olds now would be hard for me. I mean, even my kids are older than 20 years old right now and stuff. And so trying to motivate a bunch of 20-year-olds to say, okay, this is an important evening. You know, these people are coming in, and this is going to happen, and this is going to happen, and the cooks. Uh, well, and the whole so, time they're just doing. Right, exactly. Like, <laughs> what? what did you say, old man? No, what did you say? Yeah, Here, who's this speak guy? into my phone. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a picture. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I would have, I, I'm coming back ever. So, yeah. but, you know, yeah. I think people who are successful, they are... What should I say? They are very uh, satisfied with their art. They, they, if, if, if you give them a 
different opportunity, they will never change mm -hmm. thing, right? Those people, I think it's very successful, mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if you have a second thought, I don't you're think done. you're, you're right. done, you're good. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of people ask me, hey, Gary, how many, how many hours will you work a week? I said, never counted. No, I never counted. <laughs> if I start to count my hours, my base numbers, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, I can do it. But realistically, a lot of times when you're at work and you know, you're, you're socializing and people are coming in, I mean, that's part of the life that right. I love and See, you, connected. And you know this better than anybody because you were out there, you were doing it before right of the house, most back of, of the house. us, and you, were, you had all these great restaurants, and then you said, okay, I'm done. And then it's like, well, okay, now what? Mm -hmm. And it's, da, da, da. I, I still want to play baseball. Yeah. I, 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 I got a few more years of good game yeah, in me. Yeah. And I'm like, now you're back into it. Back. I do that even if I take, you know, a few days off because I, you know, I just get sick and tired of yeah. the, the game. Mm -hmm. And then you sit at home and you start to get depressed and <laughs> you realize you're depressed because you're not cooking. Yeah, yeah. And then you get back into it. You go, oh, okay. It's good. definitely yeah. um, that sense of just doing and giving. It right. is a real giving thing. It I mean, is. I think yeah. a giving person. It's very personal. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's, it's not just like selling. You're putting food in people's mouths. You yeah. know, I mean, that's very, very yeah. personal. Oh, and, and that's what I've noticed too. And now that I'm out on the other side of town, it, there's a, the Oakmont crowd, which mm -hmm. is coming in, the retirement community. And they are, they've retired from all over the world. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I, you've got all these great accents coming in and these people that, you know, from Germany or this, and they're looking for, oh, do you have that kind of cheese? Or, oh, do you make this kind of thing? And it, it's pretty fun, actually, yeah. to talk to them. And, you know, you think about us in a few years, and when we retire, and we're going to want to go eat. Retire? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You know, you want to go eat somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> please let me retire. No, but where do you want to go? when you retire, what kind of a place do you want to have in your neighborhood? And these people, I overheard somebody the other day, they were talking to a couple and they said, we are really lucky to have this in our neighborhood. And I thought that, that was really that, a good yeah, compliment. Yeah, that, 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 that'll help you get through another 80 hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, was absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's so simple. That's yeah. all we really need. Yeah, That's right. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> this place is really good. Yeah. Okay. 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 I, I, I can do it again. I can do another week. <laughs> right. Do another week.